But we sure, sure saw it yesterday morning, especially frost in some areas. We saw it in Citrus County, yeah. saw it in Venice, we saw it in Polk County too, and people sure had a little fun with it on I, social media. I, I, I love that we got so many pictures from you guys yesterday. Some of these people actually joked and said that it was the Florida snow. So <laughs> about as close as we got. I, you know, and, and I'll take it. I don't want anything more than that. Uh, uh, take a closer look at these photos here. This one's sent in from Safety Harbor. At 8 a.m. on Monday morning, we still had some frost, even though the sun was up, even though also temperatures in Safety Harbor never technically dropped to freezing. So how does that frost form? If you got a minute, I'll explain how it happened. All right, so here's the, the, the honest truth here. We rarely get to talk about frost here, so I'm going to go all out with this this morning, okay? <laughs> this box right here is called a Stevenson box. It actually protects the thermometer. It's about five feet up from the ground. It protects the thermometer from other sort of conditions, but inside that box, the temperature could be right around 36 degrees, which is what we saw in Safety Harbor yesterday. Now, that's not where the frost formed, right? The frost formed all the way down on the ground and the cooler temperatures, that cold air is more dense. So it sinks down to the ground and at the ground, right where the grass is, that's where temperatures were at freezing. So the water vapor and those water molecules in the atmosphere, as they drop down to the grass or maybe like your windshield, when those water molecules hit something that's actually freezing, which the grass was yesterday morning, that water vapor instantly goes into an ice crystal, or we call that deposition. So that phase change goes right to the frost. It forms that ice crystal on the grass and you have frost. Now there's conditions that we look for to typically produce those frosty conditions, clear skies, light winds, which we had yesterday, some moisture in the atmosphere, temperatures in the 30s, and obviously the moisture on the ground that could be dew, or like we saw yesterday, frost.